Hey guys, it's Nina. I am back today with a very quick video. It is an unbagging of my latest Dooney and Burke drawstring bag in the color Spearmint. I already took it out of the box, so um, so I wouldn't have to fumble with that. But so here we are. This is the the bag in question, and kind of clunky. All right, so um, there you see it. It's a beautiful aqua kind of minty color. It's actually coming across on the camera a little brighter, which is funny because the, the color I see on the camera is the color that I thought the bag was when I ordered it. I ordered it from um, Dillard's. Uh, Dillard's was having a sale and I think I got, I want to say like 25% off on this bag. Um, so in any case, it is the drawstring in Spearmint and the, just in case anybody is buying this bag, I, I see a lot of us Dooney girls recently have, per, have purchased drawstring bags. Um, I saw Kate, you know, post one, the, the one with the hydrangea uh, print. And then I think, um, uh, PSA, a addict. I can't remember the channel name, but um, I apologize. I think she posted one with another drawstring bag. So I thought it was kind of coincidental that everybody was uh, into the drawstring bags, but I get it because I feel like drawstring Dooney bags are kind of classic. And um, this is certainly one. It is probably my, out of the Dooney bags, I think it is my third or maybe fourth um, drawstring type, you know, design bag. So I'm going to pull off my favorite part of this new drawstring. And this is, by the way, in the pebble leather is the, is the beautiful DB, um, hang tag. I think it's kind of like my favorite, um, part of this bag. I, I love that they did that on the newer bags and it's got the kind of the gold hardware, which I really like this. It's like a creamy, you know, beautiful, perfect kind of gold color, not too gold, not too, uh, I like brush gold too, so actually, but this is, this is the shiny gold. And then it has the drawstring with a loop, um, not a tie or not the little tassels like some of the older Dooney or some of the, I, sh I shouldn't even say older because some of the newer ones are like that too, but um, with a little drawstring tab, which you can easily manipulate. Um, this one's really loose. One of the last ones I had gotten was kind of tight in the little rings. Oh, well, here's a difference that I, I just realized is very, um, it's a, a little bit different. There's no grommet here. Like if you look at some of the other Dooney bags um, from my recollection, because I don't have them in front of me, there's a grommet typically a, a, you know, metal fixture right there. Um, I kind of don't like this look actually. I didn't notice it when I was looking at the pictures, but it's just stitched around the leather, but there is actually no grommet there. It's, it's raw, you know, raw leather right there on the inside. I don't know if you could see it, but it does look like it's finished. It's very hard to tell, or is it really raw? No, it looks like it's finished with that black kind of rubberized, you know, paint or whatever they put on there. But I, I really think it's unusual. Sort of cheapens the bag, I feel like, without the grommets. I don't know. But either way, it, I think it's a nice color for summer. It's, um, I wish in real life it was the color that it's showing up on the camera. This more kind of, you know, aqua color. Um, because it's called Spearmint and that's what the pictures look like online. That's what I assumed, but it's really not. And then the, the Dooney and Burke logo is the little leather duck, um, right there at the bottom. So let me get all the stuffing out of the inside so I can show you the 
interior of the bag. All right, so this is what the interior of the bag looks like, and here you see the shoulder strap. Um, I do like the wide uh, removable shoulder strap that's on many of these, um, oops, many of these um, drawstring bags. It's very thick. Um, you can see in this image that the leather is not evenly dyed. I don't know if you noticed that, but it's a little blotchy looking. So that's a little, oh, my bad. I'm showing you the inside <laughs> of the back. I was going to say, this looks uh, very weird. But no, this is the interior of the bag, which is kind of expected. Uh, or interior of the strap. So this is the exterior of the strap, which is that sienna um, brown leather. You know, it's got sort of a reddish tint to it. Uh, very nice warm brown strap. I believe it is like a 11 or 13 inch drop. I can't remember exactly um, based upon the measurements that were on the website, but essentially it just attaches here to the sides and there it is. Again, my favorite feature of this bag is the is the DB hang tag that's on the side now. I really like the look of that. Um, and then it's always got the key strap on the inside, which I don't know why they have it tied here, but I'm gonna take that off. All right, so that goes on the inside. And then it's the typical pockets. It's got the two slips on the front here. Suppose I, I would imagine like one for, you know, a cell phone, one for maybe glasses. And then you've got the short slip pocket plus the zip pocket there on the interior. And then you've got the registration um, tag there on the inside. It is that it's not a red interior. It's that I think all the all the Dylan or Pebble leather has this um, kind of beige cotton type of interior, which I don't mind. I always like a light interior or something bright that I could you know easily see. That's what I like about the Dooney bags. So I think that's everything. It's a good size bag. It's um, I don't recall the exact measurements. Let's see if. I can find any information here. Uh, I don't see it, but it, it definitely is a big drawstring. Um, pretty roomy, I would say, for you know what it's worth. I, th I think it's a it's a good size bag. You can carry a good bit in it. I prefer not to carry too much in my bags because I don't like heavy bags. But um, you know, if you need to fit like a little sweater or cardigan or something, you certainly could with your wallet and everything else. I may do a what, you know, what's in my bag with this later. But for now, you have a good feel for, you know, the, the size of the bag. I think the width of the bag is pretty, pretty, pretty wide. I want to say this is probably like a good seven inches, um, six and a quarter or six and three quarters or seven inches. And then it's got the leather strap and the, the gold feet at the bottom, which is always a nice touch. Beautiful piping and strap on the side. Um, yeah, so the leather feels very soft. Um, you know, it's certainly not Florentine, but, but for pebbled leather, I think this is kind of the most durable. I mean, these bags will last you, you know, uh, your usage and maybe even a hand-me-down to your your daughter later. <laughs> I mean, this is is these are pretty good quality. The only part that I'm a little bit disappointed in is literally this. I'm not feeling the 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 hole with just the stitching around it. Um, but that that's with that being said, I didn't even notice it to be honest with you until we were just unwrapping. I didn't notice it in the pictures or in anybody else's videos. Um, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> and I got a good piece of the, the pebbled leather. Sometimes you can get a, a cut that's, you know, not the, not the best, but this one is very nice. And the leather is, you know, colored, 
very, um, very nicely, uh, well saturated. It's a beautiful summer bag. Can't wait to carry it. it does feel a little heavy, but um, you know that goes with the durability and the thickness of this particular leather style. Uh, so hopefully that you know if you buy this bag that won't bother you too much. I feel like it's still. I, I definitely remember it being under two pounds, so I don't think it's over two pounds. So that's a good thing. Um, once your bag starts getting to be you know two to three four pounds, that's when it gets a little heavy if you put anything in it, but this is still a good weight and easy to just throw your stuff in. You still get the security of the, you know, drawstring so that you can close it nice and tight if you needed to. I usually don't. I usually have it probably like halfway open, <laughs> but that's everything today, guys. If you have any questions or uh, if, you, if you want me to do the what's in my bag, um, give me a thumbs up if you could. That would really help me a lot. And if you like my content, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bells. And um, I'm typically doing bag videos. I do a lot of lug. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have a lug video coming up soon. And then uh, I even do nail polish videos these days as well. So hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Friday and hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye guys.